Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Collective, REI Think Tank, where we talk about all things creative, real estate, mindset, connecting, networking, and tonight we're going to talk about social media branding um, and boosting your algorithm right? And um, how it can 10x your business, you know, easily. Look at Pace, look at Jamil, look at some of these guys, uh, Jerry Norton and these big guys, man. They're they're heavy, heavy presence on social media. Um, you know, a lot of Pace is talking about YouTube stuff right now and building, uh, making a five-minute video, I think, was the homework in that. Uh, Juan, what, what is that training he's doing right now? Do you remember the name yeah. of that? Yeah, he's doing, it's called Project Forward. Project Forward. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, have you done your, have you built your uh, YouTube page yet and done a video? I've done my homework. Nice. I've done my homework. Awesome. <laughs> well, I need to do my, I was just, I was just trying to cheat and say, oh, I have a, I already have a YouTube page, but, <laughs> but technically it's a shared page, right? But so I'm going to build, I'm going to put my own together. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I've actually had some pretty good success recently with branding on social media, mainly Facebook for me. But um, there are some cool tricks that we can go over and I'll try and share my screen uh, since I have to do this on my phone. It might be a little tricky, but I can walk you guys through some some simple steps and some processes that um I, I, some of them I learned from JJ Zizian, right? Getting on a few of his Zooms early on um, and joining step two, I started kind of talking to him and he gets on about a half hour early. So you can basically pick his brain and he tells you exactly how to kind of do some of the things that I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, some of them are very simple. Most of them are simple. And a lot of it's just really consistency, right, is the key. Um, so I, you know, I got to shout, give JJ a shout out, right. Cause he basically got me started and then you just kind of play with things and I've learned some things along the way, but it's kind of funny. Actually, I was down in LA last, last week and I, I was asking him about the professional page, uh, that I'd started about four or five months ago. It's where you go from adding friends to having followers. And then you have a dashboard and you, it attracts all your algorithm, all your postings, your engagement, your view on your videos and all kinds of cool stuff like that. It shows how many people watched your like your reels for more than three seconds and all this cool stuff in there that he didn't even know about. And so it was cool to show him that and to show him the followers. He didn't know how to add followers. Anyways, it was really neat because I had been been just playing with things after i started learning and just kind of teaching myself some cool stuff and so I, we can teach we can teach you guys some of this stuff tonight and it's really it's really not that hard you know it just takes takes practice takes takes patience um and it takes a little bit of time to build up so um and we're, we'll I, I mainly do facebook so we'll talk about that we there are there are th places in there where you can actually share um to different platforms like you can share when you share it in facebook you can actually have it shared to your instagram at the same time uh and i believe instagram has that same spot um in the like that back office area <laughs> those are some of the things i'll try and help you out with the screen sharing here but let's get into it uh first things first i wrote a couple of notes here pretty pretty cut and dry stuff so the first thing I want to talk about is um, like how, how you brand yourself, like you, you brand your business. You, you are your, basically your business, right? A lot of people get kind of mixed up on branding, right? And they want to put their business uh, profile as their profile picture, their business, their logo and everything. But if I'm on Facebook and I'm looking to, um, to connect with somebody personally, or someone sends me a friend request and I don't see who they are, I'm not going to probably accept their friend request, right? I'm going to mute anybody else. I'm going to mute you, Mike. All right. So anyways, but, you know, um, like I want to do business with people I know, like, and trust, right? That's basically what we're doing. And so to be able to... Um, Sorry, to be able to, to see somebody's face when they send me a friend request, for example. I mean, at this point, I'm getting like, I'll get 
over 100 friend requests a week sometimes. I've got like over 170 right now that I need to check out. And we sift through and, and it takes time. So when you send somebody a friend request, you want to be able to see who they are, right? And you're gonna you want to send a message with that friend request because that'll get you out of the spam folder and onto their main messenger platform. Does that make sense? Um, so a few things with the branding is put a photo of yourself. You know, you can have your business logo on that back side part, right? The background photo, but you want a picture, a good picture of yourself. You really don't want your family. You don't want a bunch of other people. Because if you're sending friend requests or people are looking for you to do deals with you, they're not going to know who you are. Maybe if you have your brothers or cousin or right. So you you want to you want your main photo in there and then you want that same photo on your Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, any other social media platforms. Use that same photo like I this is basically the photo you see with my sub two hat. I have a mustache on in my other photos, but other than that, it's pretty much, this is it, right? So people can easily recognize who you are, you know? Um, and then, so like I said, when you send a friend request, send a message with it, you know? So like, like I've got hundreds of Facebook friend requests coming in every week and it's like very little, maybe 1% send a message with it. <laughs> so now I'm sitting here, I'm supposed to sift through that. So think about some of these guys who are just killing it, right? And who've got 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 followers. They're not going to go through and sift through, right? They're just going to look for those messages and accept, most likely accept those people who send a message with the friend request. Um, that's a pretty big one, you know? And in fact, I know people who aren't accepting friend requests at all, like JJ is one of them. I'm probably getting close to that, right? I, um, I did want to actually, uh, side note here, guys, I just noticed we're almost to a thousand, a thousand followers on our on our Facebook page, guys. A thousand yeah. members. That's yeah, awesome. I just noticed that, bro. Yeah, so we should do something That's fun. Awesome. We should do maybe a special Zoom or something, you know? That's pretty cool. I know you've worked really hard to do that. Yeah, thank you. We have, uh, and maybe we can have Damon do a grappling match uh, with with the winner of a contest or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but we could do something fun. You know, maybe I think we could do a special Zoom. I'm totally down to do that um, to celebrate. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, some of the things I do, some really easy things. I hope you guys have some notepads because some of the, the I'm going to go through a lot of a lot of simple things here, but you're never going to remember it all. So it took me several times and several Zoom calls with JJ to remember a lot of this stuff. Um, but um, just to touch base again, same photo in all your socials uh, and your bio is really important. So your bio is basically a little snippet of what you're about, right? So you want your bio, the little section under your photo, you want it to read well. You want people to know that that you're an investor, that you're in sub two, that you're a gator lender, you're funny game D, whatever you're doing, you want to put it in there, real estate investor, multifamily, mobile home parks, you know, um, go government housing, whatever your focus is, you want to have it in the bio and you want to have all those, all your bios have that basically same matching content. Um, it just makes you, makes you very, really easy to easily visible, right? It, it makes it easy to, for people to find you. And I always put the little peace sign and the little gator on mine, you know, I think a lot of us are doing that. Um, but that, and so some of the, uh, some of the really simple things are when you're posting, um, on Facebook, you know, um, you want to like, anytime you post in Facebook, you really want to add a photo, right, to your post, it, and it doesn't have to have anything to do with um, with your post at all. You know, it could be to completely random, guys. You could just post a photo of a dog, a fish, a cat, a bowl, an empty bowl on the counter. No, like it doesn't really matter. You know what it is. I mean, if you if you have relatable content, cool. But but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because Facebook recognizes that and it boosts your algorithm. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why, but that's just how it works. So anytime you make a post, put a photo on, add a photo to it. It can be something simple. I love, I love taking photos of nature, you know, so I always have a photo of some awesome 
tree or a sunset or a sunrise on my phone. So I'll just pop that in sometimes or my, my adorable grandson who's over right now. So if it gets loud, that's why, but, uh, but pretty cool stuff. Easy, easy stuff, right? Just remembering to do it is, is the, the hard part. Um, and so when you do a post, like most people are like talking about just everyday things and wins, you know, you could talk about wins. You could talk about everyday life. You want a good mixture of everything. You know, a lot of people think they need to start a separate page for their business and really you don't need to. I, I don't recommend that at all because it's really, really hard to keep up with two or three different pages on multiple platforms. Uh, so I think integrating your business into your your Facebook, your regular page makes the most sense. Um, you know, because really it's your whole it's a whole lifestyle. Real estate's a lifestyle, right? It's not really a like a job. It's it's your life. Like, does anyone in here not talk about real estate all the time anywhere you go? Like, if there's any of those in here, then uh, you know maybe the same for you. But I'm always talking about real estate everywhere I go. And, you know, it's uh, it's basically a lifestyle. Right. So mixing, having personal and business stuff on your page um, is, is really key. You know, people want to see that you're human. Think about it. They feel like they know you. Right. Like, for example, when I went to Kalispell to community camp, I ran into at least 10 people who were like, hey, Lance, what's up, bro? I've been wanting to meet you. You know, I, I've been following you or whatever. Like, it tripped me out because I've been following them, too. And they're like rock stars, you know, killing it. And to have people come up to me was very humbling experience. You know, it was very, uh, it was really, really super cool um, and get, wanting photos and stuff. And, you know, so, but that's kind of what the power of social media and branding does, right? You're there all the time. Like you guys see me, if you're in step two or gator, you see me all the time in there. I'm always liking and commenting and trying to add value wherever I can. So, you know, I'm in there a lot, you know? And so when you see someone a lot, doing things all the time, you feel like you know, know them, right? Or you feel like, oh man, I see them on my phone, you know, and, and famous people are on my phone. So you kind of get into that category, right? You like with pace. I mean, obviously he's way, I mean, he is a total rock star guru, but you know what I mean? You get the hint, like you get the point, right? Like, so when you see people on, on Zooms and, and on Facebook and on your phone all the time, you feel like you know them already. So it gives you kind of a, gives people a sense that they know you, right? It, you're building rapport without even really building rapport. Um, but they see your life unfolding, right? So, um, so yeah, so basically we've covered having the same photo on all your platforms. We covered the bio, right? Putting your bio in there, what people, what you want people to know that you do in real estate. Um, and then posting, right? Putting a photo on when you post. And, and so one of the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is what you're posting your content. So basically when you, when I, uh, well, basically when you're, when you're making posts, <laughs> David, that's funny, bro. When you make it a post, uh, you want it to be engaging guys like, right. So you don't want to, you don't want to just make a, a statement, you know what I mean? So basically something I learned, um, several months ago, to be really engaging is to ask a question. So if you make a post and you ask a question like, hey, what are you having for dinner today? Hey, does anyone want to go out tonight? Hey, is anyone catching this Zoom with Pace tonight? Whatever it is. What is that doing, guys? It's drawing people in to your post to answer your question. Does that make sense? So like, it, it, you'll get you'll be surprised you can even go check out my page for an example if you check out some of my posts i have a lot of engagement because i'm asking questions i'm drawing people in i'm engaging when they when they comment on my post i'll i'll heart every single comment every time <laughs> and i'll even answer i'll even say hey thanks hey thanks hey man you know good to see you i appreciate you i'll go in and even comment on each one it makes feel people feel good makes people feel like they're important you know what i mean like and so i take the time to do that kind of stuff you know yeah it's a lot of work and yeah you can get a va to do that at some point which i might do <laughs> jj and i were actually talking about splitting costs on a va for social media I mean, it's a lot of work. You know, I mean, it just depends on how much you want to get it, dig into it, guys. But uh, but yeah, so engaging questions, bring people in, you know, captivate your audience. Right. You want to bring them in. 
bring them into you and, and bring them into your post, right? And then engage, engage with them. So, um, but yeah, it's kind of like when wholesalers send you deals, right? They just send you these random horrible deals. And then you're like, hey, rather than ignore them, I tell people all the time, I'm like, send them your buybacks. Tell them, hey, this deal is trash, but here's what works for me, right? If you keep saying that, you know, here's what I want. Here's what I want. Guess what? Those deals start coming, right? You know, it's kind of like that with social media. You get what you put out. So, um, so be engaging, guys. You know, ask questions. Um, some of the other cool things, like I was saying, heart when I go in and like people's um, comments, I found out that the, some of the little tricks that Facebook has it, to boost your algorithm, and one of them is posting the photo. Uh, the other one, there are several that I'll share with you tonight, but one of them is. Um, Oh shoot, what was it? Oh, it's it's rather, rather than liking, hit the like button, hit the like button. Most people don't know this and it's super simple, guys. If you notice anytime I like someone's post, I don't like it. I heart heart it or care. Heart care, heart care, heart 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 heart. That actually helps boost your boost your algorithm. I don't know I don't know why. I think Facebook wants people to be lovers, not fighters. I don't know, but um <laughs> You know, it's uh, <laughs> it, it actually works. Um, yeah, so that was one cool little thing that I thought was really cool. I actually had a friend that I was in a network marketing business with for a while, uh, like end of 2020, early 2021. And the guy was always a lover, right? Lover, lover, always loving. Hey, brother, I love you, bro. I love you, brother. Always heart, heart, heart. Love, 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 just loving, man. I was like, man, this guy's a freaking lover, lover, not a fighter, right? He was such a cool dude. Retired, like, um, I think he was retired army, you know, veteran, big dude, husky, but just super, super friendly, super giving of his time, super kind guy. Always was heart, heart, hit the heart button on my stuff. And I was just like, okay, that's kind of weird, but I, I guess. I mean, I love you too, bro. Like, I, I don't know, man. What what do I do with this? But now I know. <laughs> uh, well, I think you know, I think, I think you kind of think it's a little weird. What, what's that? Yeah, I think I think you're right about that because one thing yeah. is like what I used to do before is just go through every single post and just like, right? And it's yeah. really really fast to do. the 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 actual love has to be, you have to hold it for a quick second, so it's a right. little bit more work. So maybe that's why, you know, Facebook kind of you know, re rewards you for a little bit added work that you're doing. I, I'm At least that's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. That makes sense, somewhere. bro. It's more engaging. Yeah, it's uh, Facebook right. recognizes it as being uh, more of an engagement. Right. Aha. There you go. And see, I'm not the analyst. I just know it works. I don't know why or how, but I know. <laughs> so that's great thanks Juan and uh, I don't know who that was I couldn't see you but thank you also blank person but uh, let's see okay guys are you guys getting some value out of this tonight yeah it's good stuff bro. put, put a stuff. one in the comment if you're getting some value tonight guys uh, two if not and then I'll just shut the whole thing down right now we'll just <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, it's super cool because it's really simple stuff, but it's it's just really, you know, it just takes it takes repetitive action day in and day out to really see results. So um, another thing I, I want to stay on post posting here for a minute, because uh, there are some other cool things about posting. Um, hey, Justin, whoa, whoa. I can we kick this guy out? What did he say? No. <laughs> oh, Justin, you stuck. That's it. All right. <laughs> Show's over, guys. You have a good night. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, where was I, Justin? You threw me off, pal. Funny guy. Uh, yeah, so when you're making posts, um, photo, tag. Okay, so yeah, tag, right? That's huge. Okay, so when I got into Sub2 and Gator, I had admins reach out to me, and they're like, hey, Lance, like Carly. I talked to Carly quite a bit when I joined, and then uh, – Travis Shermer, right? One of the Gator admins. He he was my, or the guy that vetted you in, right? The people that vet you in, kind of Travis was one of them. He was actually, I think, the one that told me, he's like, hey man, when you're making content, because it's kind of cool when they vet you and put bring you in, they actually tell you some of these tricks and you just kind of glaze over because you're so excited and you're like, oh man, I can't believe I just spent that much money. And then, you know, hopefully this isn't one of those 
here you go. Here's five binders where this content, good luck, you know, type of deals. But, uh, you know, when they, uh, when they, when they sign you up and they do the walkthrough with you, they tell you to tag people. Right. So that's my, the next thing I want to talk about tagging people, man. Like you'll notice I tag some of my posts. It's over a hundred people. And it is, it is, that's probably the most tedious part of the boosting, you know, but here's what happens when you tag other people. Whoever is friends with them can also see your posts. So you're tagging all those guys. Yeah, I tag I tag people all the freaking time, man. And, and you know, I've only had one person in what uh, since November, probably December since I started branding. Maybe January. I don't know. It's been a good seven eight months, right? I've only had one person come to me and say, "Hey, please don't tag me." And I was like, whoa, like, why wouldn't you want me to tag you, bro? Like, you're going to get more recognition if I tag you, right? Because people see the tag. Um, and so he was like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of a conflict with my my work. And he was, a, I think he was a law enforcement officer in like Southern California, or maybe a special task force, something like that, you know, and I was like, oh, got it. You know, first I was offended, kind of. I was like, "What's your What's your problem, dude?" And because he was kind of real short about it. But anyway, so I don't even ask people. And so don't be afraid, guys. Like, don't don't like push yourself out of your comfort zone. Who gives a shit what people think? You know, just make the posts, make the videos, make Zoom like not Zoom, but I, I started making reels. I've got like close to forty thousand views on my reels. I've been doing them for like three or four months. It's insane. Like I have been lagging the last week or so, but making reels, you know, using all the different areas of Facebook and Instagram, you can do reels, you can do lives, you can do storyline. <laughs> Thanks, John. I appreciate you. Oh yeah. John's awesome. I just talked to John. Uh, I think last night, man, we had a great conversation, but you know, um, all these different tools that you have at your disposal, man, use them, you know, even, and that's the thing, like, People think that they have to have Hey Lance, you, you, you cut out, I think. Yeah, I don't hear. Hey Hey Lance, if you can if you can what hear are, us. We can't hear that? you. We couldn't oh, hear me. you for a we couldn't hear you for a bit there. You kinda went. Oh bro, my wife probably turned on the Bluetooth. Sorry. Uh, no car. worries. No Probably worries. Back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I was gonna say, it doesn't matter what people think, right? Just, just make the post, anyways. Like, who cares? And, and honestly, I've been talking to Vina. Vina's actually talking about branding a lot too right now. Vina Jetty, and she says, uh, she's like, hey, you know what? The one video she made that went viral was the one where she felt the goofiest and silliest, and so. Get goofy, get silly. Don't try and be like super professional. Be who you are, man. Let people see who you are. Like I want to do business with people that I feel comfortable with and I think are being raw and real. Like I don't want to do business with people who are, you know, being like, you know, super uppity and kind of fake, you know? So just be who you are, you know, post content. Uh, the biggest trick to it is doing it as much as possible daily if you can at least you know every couple of days um but yeah so anyway so tagging people's big and there's an easy way to tag people too i don't want to see you guys writing everyone's name at the bottom of the screen and tagging that, that that's going to take forever guys there's these little columns and let me see if i can share my screen here real quick come on magic Screen share. Okay, I think I can do it. All right. Okay, let's see. All right. I don't know. You can let me know, Juan, if it works. I don't know if it will. Can you see it? No. Nothing. No, okay. no we can't see your share screen. Let's see. Let me try it again, guys. Sorry, you have to bear with me here for a minute. I have... Uh, I have to do this on my phone. Oh, I can share the whiteboard. Let's see. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I know. I know. I should have played with this before. 
That's okay. I think it I think it flashed it for a second there. Did it? There was a picture of you. It's funny because it's telling me it's telling me it's gonna do it, but yeah, I might okay. not have enough bandwidth to actually do it. That's okay. So um whoops. Almost lost you. Okay. So uh, where was I, Juan? I kind of lost my train of thought there. Yeah, you were talking about tagging and not putting someone's name at the bottom that you can oh, just- Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's a- Yeah, so there's thing. a section on the bottom where it has it has all the little icons. Well, if you scroll, if you open that up, if you open that little taskbar up, it'll have all these different options. You can change the background. You can, um, you can tag people. You can have the location to where you're at. So all those cool little tools down there are make things a lot easier. So I see people tagging and writing the actual names. That takes forever. All you have to do is open up those little icons on the bottom if you're on your phone and it'll bring up all those different options and you can play with them and explore them. But one of them is tag people. And then you hit that and it brings up all your friends and most of the people like, especially if you're in sub two or the creative page or Gator, it's gonna have all the members right there. Or, or come into the creative page and do it. All the members are there and you just touch each little box and it checks it. Did, 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 and then you just go down and tag. But uh, that actually makes a huge difference because like I said, people will see, more people will, eyeballs are gonna be on your content. So everybody who's friends with that person that you tag can potentially see that now. So think about that. You're gonna like multiply, multiply, multiply like your, the viewers on, on your content, right? So. Um, but yeah, that's a big one. And so let's see. I'm going to like, what else were they going to say? Uh, I think what? that's a good, good, good section, um, of the, the tagging. We've got the tagging. We've got the, the, uh, social media fo photos posts. Let me think. Is there anything else? Yeah, I actually. I, so something I learned from you, Lance. Yeah. Was, was to, to put gifts. Oh, thank you. Yes. And GIF, and that's the, you know, that's the argument of the century. Is it GIF or is it GIF, right? And um, I personally am a GIFer, uh, so. I'm a GIFer. I, I know. A lot of people are. I don't know who's right. I think you might be, but I, I'm sticking to my guns, man. So, but yeah, so one's right. You put it, when you go make a uh, comment, yeah, on in, in someone's page in someone's uh if you're in someone's uh post making a comment post a, a gif image or a gif image the gif one uh post that and then comment with it i do it almost every single time and uh, now i'm just basically trained train myself i almost do it every single dang time i don't i don't even think about it anymore but it, it, all that stuff adds to your 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 uh your algorithm boosting so like, for example, like I've been really probably really steady for the last three, four ish months, I'd say. And I, I went from a, a regular Facebook page to a professional page. And I don't think I had any followers. I have almost 4,200 followers. Probably do. Last time I looked, it was 4,199. So probably hit that 4,200 mark. I'm, I'm gaining almost 100 followers a week at this point, guys, uh, because I've been doing some of these things, right? And so the cool thing is I actually uh, was, I actually got notified by Facebook recently. They were offering me a bonus, bonus system, like from zero to $30,000 a month. And I have no idea how the scale works. But because they noticed that I was like, you know, get, being really engaging and, and getting more and more followers, I think um, they offered to give me that. The funny thing is, though, it's not actually monetizing, right? Like if I go, you can actually go in when you have the professional dashboard and there's a monetize section. And when I click it, it says I'm not eligible until I have over 5,000 followers. So once you hit that 5,000 follower mark, you actually go into eligibility for being monetized on Facebook. And I didn't even know you could get, I didn't even know that was a thing, right? So at the end of the day, right? A YouTube page, an Instagram page, LinkedIn, you know, those are all really strong um, social media platforms. And what's that new one? There's a new one, one. What's the name of that new one? Do you, you know that they took over? They're trying to beat out Twitter with it. Threads. Like, it was an, what threads. is it? Facebook Threads. 
Yes, that's it. Threads. Uh huh. Is anyone in that? I have anyone not using that platform that yet. Mm -mm. I've joined it, but I'm not really right. active in it. Yeah, I think I joined it too. Someone said something, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> why? I don't need another. I don't need another social media. <laughs> I'm busy exactly. enough, right?" Uh, so at this point, do you guys want to ask any questions? Do you guys have anything for me that you questions you have about any of this stuff? I just want to add Let's something see. in here. Um, yeah. I think like participating has helped me get to like meet people as well. Participating in different like tags, comments, posts. And using the GIFs as well. I feel like yeah. that more like of a creative way to like get someone's attention as well. And even yeah. posting. Um, earlier, I was asking in the comments, what's your Instagram? Because I was actually like making a post saying like you were giving us so many content on social media. Oh, yeah. Mine's really easy. It's just Lance Riggin. I got lucky. <laughs> At Lance Riggin, yeah. And I'll uh, I'll drop it in here. And I have an Onyx investment group. That was one of my first, the first investment company I had, but it gets, you know, it, I just, it's so hard to keep up on multiple different platforms, pages. And so I kind of basically stick to my, my brand now since Pace has been teaching that, you know, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. What was your name? Gabriella. Thanks, Gabriella. That was a great tip. Yeah. Thank you. I go by Gabby for short. <laughs> Gabby. I love it. Gabby. Yeah. Thank you, Gabby. I appreciate that. What's up, David? How do you have time to actually get any work done? I can get lost in space with the amount of time. Yes, Mindy. Well, it's it, it's in between. It's like, uh, you know how when you fill up a glass jar with rocks and then you pour the water in, you, it looks like it's full, but then you pour the water in and there's like a half gallon in there. It's kind of how I do my social media in between everything. <laughs> in between everything. Does that make sense? <laughs> It does. I just, I can get sucked in. And before I know it, 30 minutes has gone by and uh, you know, yeah. so it's tough. Yeah, it is. It can be very challenging. Yeah, absolutely. And some people just go, Hey, I'm going to do one hour a day. And that, and that works for some people. For me, I've had to discipline myself because I had, I was doing that for a while, get stuck on TikTok and Instagram, like videos and stuff. And mm -hmm. I just basically, when I'm on, I'm networking and I'm branding and that's pretty much it. Anyway, I don't even want to do the other stuff anymore because I do the other stuff, you know, because I'm working so much on the well, even, phone. Yeah, even that, I mean, I just find that, you know, I, I try to stick to the stuff that's that's useful. It's going to help me build my business. But again, there's so much and it's mm -hmm. a lot of it is really good. Some is not, you know, but a lot of it is really good. But anyway, it just, yeah. I know some people use time blocking. And that's kind of what you were talking about there, I think, a little bit. So I was just curious if there are tips or techniques other than just going, okay, I'm going to set a timer, I guess. <laughs> no, that's it. Just self-discipline. <laughs> There's no trick. It's tough. It, it is tough. I, I used to get sucked into the other stuff. Um, not so much anymore, but I just kind of discipline myself. And I'm basically, most of my business is on my phone anyway. So I'm doing emails. I'm sending messages back and forth. I'm looking at deals excuse me. And then in between, if I'm on messenger talking to someone about a wholesale deal or a, you know, a potential deal, I'll just, you know, check all my messengers while I'm in there. And I always have messages everywhere, you know, all the time. So I just go in there. I'm one of those weirdos that like when I have the little notification bubbles at the top of my phone, I can't stand it. So I have to clear and always check it. So it's like stupid, but uh my wife like my i get like super weirded out when i see my wife's phone because she's got bubbles all over her screen and i'm just like ah, fix it like every app open in the entire phone and i'm just like what are you doing no. but I turn, uh, off, yeah. I turn off most notifications <laughs> because if i don't it would be blowing up all the time so yeah yeah i do the same thing i have i think messenger and texting pretty much open and that's it Actually, I need to shut off my Facebook notifications because I'm in there enough. I don't need it on. But anyways, let's talk about actually a little bit. Let's shift a little bit into time management since we're on the subject. So 
uh, when I started, guys, like I was using like the Google. Uh, what was it called? The Google uh, Google Meets, right? With attached to my Google Calendar. Um, and so I, I I actually like that platform, but you know, since we're kind of on the social media part of it, this kind of ties in to branding and uh, networking, and you know, being efficient with your time. Like having a Calendly or a Google Meet. I, I start off. I think a lot of us start off with the Google Meet. It's free. It's easy. A Calendly is too. But I kind of graduated. Damon had it, and I was like, "Oh man, this is really cool." So I finally ended up doing it, and I love it. It's super easy, you know. Um, and 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 it's like something that you can uh, help help keep track of your time, right? So that's another thing, uh, Mindy. I like I use my Calendly, and I block out two to three hours a day on my Calendly just for newbies and just meeting new people. And then anything outside of that, I, I make, I put, you know, I make adjustments and I I'll add appointments on outside of that. And then I'll have time for social media and searching deals and whatnot. Um, I did actually, um, I have this deal and I've, I've turned one onto it. Uh, it's called the intentional journal, the intention journal actually by Brandon Turner. It's really good. I think it's like $39 or $30 on Amazon. But it's a really good time tracker and it helps block out block out time, set goal like daily goals. So you're not like running around trying to uh, like get all these tasks done. Right. It gives you like three main goals and then you break down how you're going to uh, get to each goal. And then there's like a whole like entire day, every half hour of your day, you can like block out. Boom, 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 boom. And it tells you to make sure to take breaks and. Uh, but anyways, it's been something that's been really helpful for me uh, when I use it, it. It works really well. But uh, but yeah, blocking out time and and to to make sure you have time to do it is is important, right? So put it on your calendar. Say hey, if you if you haven't been doing enough, just put put something on your calendar. You know, say hey, uh, I you know to, this is my hour to do social media branding, right? You can, this is my 20 minutes, whatever it is. If you got a W2 and you're working, you know, um, for the man, you know, hey, just just take your break and uh, your lunch break, your, you know, mid midday break, whatever it is. And just boom. Hey, guys, how's it going? Still grinding at the W2. Can't wait to get out of here. You know, whatever, anything, just something every day. Like people just start noticing and just start building an audience in, in your brand. So. And really consistency is the key here, guys. So if you're struggling with it, if you're nervous about it, if you're overthinking it, you know, just stop. Stop doing that. Um, no, it, I know it's not. It's easier said than done. But, you know, a lot of people over tend to overthink these things. And there's really no need to um, just start small, you know, just post a photo of your dog, your cat, whatever, your front yard. I mean, this is this is actually my property right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like, gorgeous yeah, yeah beautiful. thank you yeah it's beautiful out here and so um i love posting nature photos just go and take some photos outside of nature go get a photo of a bug who cares like anything literally anything <laughs> and just write some stuff on on your page you know and honestly it's not rocket science guys it's really consistency and just taking action and being consistent at it you know that's really all it boils down to yeah, I think um, one thing that I'd like to add to that, man, uh, that, I've, yeah. that I've moved my training and personal development to the morning hours, and I've actually blocked that off because I've noticed that that is the first thing to go, especially with all of the content that we have available to us and Sub2 and Gator and all of the Zooms that, you know, uh, Pace brings. And of course, your work and your job and everything you got going on. Mm -hmm. um, that personal development time will get stolen. It'll get taken away from you. And so what I've noticed is that like, I've always said, okay, I'm going to dedicate an hour at least to do training, right? If it's going to be learning raps or if it's going to be learning, you know, uh, uh, Morby method, whatever the case may be. Now what I've done is I moved that and, and blocked it off in the morning before I get started on work. I make sure that that time is devoted to my personal development my learning, um, my learning time, if you will. And man, it's been, it's been really good because mm. I've actually disciplined myself to put my phone down and that yep. time is like sacred now. And so 
working out, you know, going through, you know, journaling and things of that nature, and then uh, writing goals down and then get into the training has been really good. I mean, it's worked for me. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, you know, no, that's good. Yeah. I've been that's very excellent. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been, it's been, it's been awesome so far. I'm glad you brought that up, bro. I, I've been doing the same. Well, I have my morning time. I, I set, I don't turn my phone on until about, I think, 8 30 9 a.m you know yeah. something like that just because i don't want it on it's a huge distraction i like to stretch read drink a glass of water in the morning you know what i mean uh work out as well i mean i'll turn my phone on when we leave but i agree uh journaling reading you know stretching drinking a glass of water those are all all those are things in the like the miracle morning right talks about stretching working out every day every morning having your personal time 100 percent thousand percent agree with you and it's super important you'd be surprised how many people actually don't do that at all right off the bat they get up i talk to people all the time as soon as they get out of bed phones on boom i'm working there's zero downtime zero personal time you know and it's just all the way till the nighttime and it's bedtime or watch TV for a few, whatever it is, read a book. I don't know, but it's insane to me. Like, cause like you, I've, I've ingrained, I've, I've trained myself to get that time. It gives you, it gives you not only gives you some clarity, but like your brain starts racing like so quickly when your phone's on, it's just like immediate, like, Whoa, go, go, go. Right. So if I, and honestly, I'm ADD. So if I turn my phone on bro and I try and read, I can't focus on it, man. I, I get my brain gets like gone on, and I'm just like thinking about all the things and the stuff. Right. So personally, me, I have to have a quiet room. It has to be quiet. Like I can't if there's noise or anything like that. I cannot focus on my reading material. But uh, that's just me. But uh, but yeah, I'm glad you touched on that, man. That's that's 100 um, percent. Definitely encourage people to do that. Have a good morning routine um any other questions on here guys you guys having any struggles or anything that that you need help with i saw k jumped in hi k yeah so let's see is there any questions hi there. hey how are you yes. In the car oh there you, you go hey. okay? yeah there you go now now i can how are you i'm good thank you i, I I'm, I'm hoping i'm not interrupting anybody no you're fine i just I wanted to say hi right? and i think you missed a okay. lot of the good stuff but we have this recorded so uh <laughs> oh good good okay yeah Kay's awesome, guys. She Thank came you. on when when we had when do we have Abraham Gray on, and she presented him with a deal uh, right on the the live podcast. It was so awesome. I was like, yes, super bold move. I loved it. I did, yeah. And then that was cool. uh, but he wasn't interested. But I ended up closing the deal anyways. Nice, congratulations. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you. Very cool, and it's assisted living, right? Yes. Assisted living cool. nine point five million. Wow, girl! Holy smokes, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. What part we're we're at? Monterey. Monterey, California. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful Valley. Pebble Beach, four minutes away. Wow. Yes. So it's like a two thousand square foot building for nine million. <laughs> No, oh yeah, it would be yeah, 16, 16,000. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Very cool. That's so cool. I can't wait to I, I I'm looking forward to seeing more of your journey. So, um thank you. We're, we're going to be recording um yes, yeah, so we're going to be recording like, you know, how we do the paperwork, how we acquire it. Pace want me to um talk with his attorney, so we'll be sharing my journey. So, if anybody's interested. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You want to, if you want to drop something in the chat so we can go follow your journey, that'd be awesome. Okay. We'll do. Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys, anyone else? Let's see. Let me ask, look at some of the questions here. What up Lance? If 
if I don't get my coffee reading and exercise, my mental health goes in the shitter. I mean, in the overload. Yes, Andrew, I agree. <laughs> I know if everything gets everything gets kind of out of whack, man, I feel you. I do have Instagram, guys. Yeah, did you guys get that Instagram? Also, um, let me, Justin, do you want to drop the creative link? Are you here, Justin, still? Can you drop our, uh, our um, YouTube link or Juan, one of you guys? If you guys could go like and subscribe and follow mm -hmm. our uh, YouTube, we'd much appreciate that. We'd appreciate that very much. And we've got, uh, we are, we have uh, uploaded uh, most of our prior videos. And so our good, good, the gentleman, uh, Mr. Ponder is working diligently on that for you guys um, to get that going for you. I think we're maybe a few behind, but we'll get that up and running uh, really soon. Also wanted to talk to you guys about some guests that we're going to be having on soon. We're going to have Kyle Frizzell back on. You know what? We're going to do a reverse Morby method next time Kyle comes on. So look out for that. I also want to talk to Mr. Mr. Uncle Lonza, Kyle Troyer. I'm going to talk to Uncle Lonza about getting on the show. I haven't asked him yet, but I did actually start building a relationship with him. So good, good thinking, he's, Justin. Lance, he's probably, uh, he maybe, maybe next week. Oh, you talk, you got a hold of him. Sweet. Yeah, dude. he's he's going to confirm on Monday. So, oh, nice, dude. So, that is amazing. So, Wes Grant, I want to talk to him. We've got Boris Sanchez out of Houston. The guy is a rock star with the storage units, like big time investor in Houston. Uh, and also, Carolyn Briley, I'm going to get her on the show soon, guys. So, Looking forward to some of those guys. Also, Sarah Weaver, actually, in September, the, the author of 30 Day Stay, one of the co-authors. She she basically wrote the book on midterm rentals. She's going to be coming onto the show as well. I, I had the fortune of, good fortune of meeting her last October in BPCon, at BPCon. And so, David, yes, I'll, I'll pull you right up if you still have a question, sir. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to just kind of let you guys know some of those things we're working on. It's been a little busy couple of weeks. I've been out of town a lot. Um, I do kind of a lot of the branding here for us for the podcast because I'm the branding guy, right? That's kind of my thing. So um, I do apologize for not getting on that a little bit better. We're going to meet up tomorrow and get some new content ready for you guys for this coming week so we can start getting the word out a lot sooner. Um, but yeah. Let's see, David, did you still have a question? Was it David? I'm sorry, uh, was it wasn't David that was, who was it? Was it David? David, did you have a question, sir? You're on Anyone mute, else? David. David, do you want to unmute yourself? Anyone okay. else? David? Hang on. Are you coming? I'm okay. looking, dog. <laughs> I'm trying there to unmute. Is. I'm trying to unmute. It says stop video. That's all it says. What's um, up, buddy? You're good now, that? David. We can hear you. Yes, sir. Well, that's not it. Are you there? Yeah, we can hear you. We can see you. See the top okay. of your head. There we go. Oh, now we can't hear you. You, you muted now? yourself. There you go. How about now? Now yes. you can hear me. Okay. Yep. Anyway, gotcha. I was just I was just letting you know that this is my first time with you on your your uh your podcast here. So uh, but you and I are in obviously in the same, you know, one of the same groups. And yep. uh but I just want to introduce myself and I'm a real estate investor. I'm also a general contractor out here in uh, in California. Uh I fly back and forth to Dallas quite a bit. I'm remodeling a house in Plano right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking to um, expand my business. Also, um, we're always looking for uh, new people to uh, help us along our journey and stuff. So um, yep. if you need nice. something, let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, some of my uh, photos, I think Lance saw some of them and was just blown away. You know, yeah, um, you should drop drop that link in here, man. Let's people see what you do. You th they do some awesome Airbnbs, man. These get these things are sick, guys. And his realtor does these insane videos, like super, super sweet. 
Yeah. I was very impressed with the uh, editing on those. So actually, the, cool. editing, the, the editing is, is not from my realtor. It's actually from my business partner. And you guys need to look him up, follow him on Instagram. But it's Victor Faz Clark, and he does a lot of work for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay? Ah. He, he, also, he also did Cole Beasley's rap video. Okay, he's a music producer, a movie producer. Ah, that makes sense. You know, um, that's so, cheating. Uh, any, any, uh, yeah, I mean, he he uh, he can put together anything for me. Those so, videos are amazing. I like the video, I think, more than the house. I like the bit, the editing, the he way put, he put that together was uh, amazing. That adds yeah. so much value to the property, man. It's, you know, people don't understand and you know the value of it, but it's funny yeah. how many people take cell phone photos to try and sell houses. You got to get professional photos. No, like, we, man. Had, we had the drone and everything. Yeah, so. it is bitching. Yeah, feel free to drop it in here, David. I will. All right, sounds good, buddy. Anyone else, guys? Anyone, uh, anyone, any takers, any questions, guys? I mean, it's not like rocket science here, right? But uh, well, it just takes actually, consistency. Actually, I think yeah. we, we should hear from some of the other people and what they do. You know, where are you at? You oh, know? yeah. Right? Put them on the spot. Well, well it's Q&A time. Yeah. So if you guys, we typically go into questions. <laughs> if anyone sure. wants to hop on and say, hey, go ahead. Yeah. It's pretty, right. it's an open mic. I had asked a mic. question, but I just sure. got on so I could probably watch the replay or go back and watch because I, I literally just got on. So yes. Thanks. Thanks You're for late. having me. You're late, you <laughs> knucklehead. <laughs> no problem, man. Well, shoot, go ahead. What's the question? Oh, I guess what what uh, what was the top? It was about social media. What what specifically in, uh, did you talk uh, about? Branding. So um, I I can kind of give you a quick synopsis of what we did. It is recorded too, so you can come back and watch it. But okay, basically adding a photo. You're saying the same photo you have on all your social platforms. You want that photo to be just you, a headshot, shoulder and headshot. You don't want a bunch of people in it. You want to have your bio basically um everything match in all your socials for your bio so sub to gator you know whatever you're looking for midterm rentals short-term rentals you know whatever like your buy box like some of your basic main things where you're at you know so have your bio match everything so when people click on your profile they know who you are they know what you're doing right off the bat they don't have to start scrolling through your content um and have that match on all on all platforms and then and then when you post, always put a photo on when you post it on Facebook, especially add a photo to your post that boosts your algorithm. And uh, it doesn't have to have anything to do with your content. In fact, I, for to be fun, I, a lot of times I'll just put some random stupid photo. And then at the very bottom of my post, I'll be like, photo uh for algo you know i posted the photo to boost my algorithm and you know mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's a photo of my dog or whatever it doesn't matter but uh another thing is instead of liking liking all the uh comment like when you comment instead of liking hit the heart button that that boosts your algorithm facebook recognizes that you're like doing a little extra work we, we kind of went into a conversation about how you have to hold down the like button to get to the heart and the care button right so for whatever reason, they recognize that and they actually will boost your algorithm. All these things boost your algorithm, get you in front of more people. Um, and then when you comment on someone else's post, add a GIF comment or a GIF, G-I-F. Um, I say GIF. So if you guys say GIF, you're wrong. And I'm I'm not sorry about that at all. But no, uh, either way, man, you know, uh, you just post the GIF when you're when you're commenting, post the GIF comment. So all these things just help help get in front of people. More people see your content. And that yeah. was most of it in a nutshell, dude. That's, uh, that's so, awesome. JJ has yeah. drilled some of that into me. Yes, that's where I learned it. <laughs> and that's why I'm sharing oh, okay. it. I, I learned freely and I'm sharing freely with you all. And it's great. Well, he literally did. When I went to visit him, he's like, Lance, you're one of the very few people, if not maybe the only person who has taken what i've taught and ran with it and really has been killing it you know like just because of the consistency it's not because i did anything special it's because i did those things and i learned a few other tricks and i just do it all the time every day you know that's the only reason 
it's nothing that I did that's any different. You know what I mean? That's all it is. It's just that consistency, man. That's really all it oh. takes. Appreciate it. Be goofy. I was just sharing too. I'll tell you guys again. Vina was on, I was on a Zoom with Vina and she was like also teaching social media branding uh, a couple of weeks ago. And she's like, she's like, guys, don't try and be super professional and like just be who you are. Be silly, be stupid, do some random shit. Like, doesn't matter. Like, those are the videos that are going to get more views. Her video, one video that went viral was the goofiest, most uncomfortable silliest one that she ever made and she said it went viral like twice so <laughs> and i'm getting over a million views or some crazy stuff like that so anyway it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to edit it you know just be who you are and get out there and post all right yeah i'm, a, I'm normally not uh not very yeah. on or goofy so i have to work on that <laughs> well I mean, are you are we talking about looks or attitude? No, I'm just kidding, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks for the questions, bro. Yeah, you you have a good one, Kyle. I'm glad to see you back on here too, brother. I've seen you on here a couple times. Thank Wendy, you. yeah, do you want to come on up? What do you got, Wendy? Hello. Can you hear me? Uh-oh, David. Someone's going to have to help David. <laughs> yes, hi, Wendy. How are you? Good. First time being on here with you. I, oh, I cool! On on Facebook, so awesome. Like following you. Um, my question was: so when you're doing all these things, should you should you should I make a professional Facebook page? Because I don't have one. I just have my regular. So you don't have to make it. You just you have you can switch your page over. There's actually in the dashboard in the top the three little dots. I think it is. And I'm sorry, I can't share my screen. I was going to show you guys this. I, I'll get there eventually. But um, there is a section. It's either the three dots or there's, you know, there's a couple spots where you get the three dots or they call it the hamburger or whatever. Mm -hmm. In one of those areas on the top dashboard area, you click it and it gives you uh, the opportunity to turn your profile, your, your pay Facebook page profile into a professional Facebook page. And that's all I did, you know. Yeah. And that's it. I and it basically want to have all my my personal stuff, professional. If I want to keep, yeah, it. it just turns your regular Facebook page into a professional page. All it is is it adds some features, and and okay. instead of instead of getting friends, like you can still get friend requests, but you'll have followers instead, right? You see all the. You know, mm -hmm. the big shots, right? With the followers. And that's why I was like, ooh, I can have followers. This is cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can be big time too, like pace. No. But it's kind of cool because you, you still get friend requests, but you have to go over to the three little dots, click that, and then it'll say at, at send a friend request. So I still get tons of friend requests, but people will see the follow first and they're more like most likely to just hit the follow button. And so you can grow a following that way. But there's a lot of other things, like I was saying, in that dashboard, once you get to that professional page, there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can learn how to track everything. Um, you can you can start tracking your viewers and your clicks and the people who are commenting and the people who are liking and the people who are following. It's all these cool graphs and charts and stuff and percentages. And it's really neat. You know, I, I kind of geek out on it a little bit. Um but that was cool. When I got to hang out with JJ down in LA last week, I was showing him, I was like, isn't this cool how this does this? And he goes, what the hell's that? I was like, oh, you don't know about this? It's, the, it's on your dashboard. He was like, what? Him and Zoe, uh, Alonzo, right, from Gator. A lot of you might know Zoe. The uh, Zoe knows, right? He's like from Bo knows. That's his little tagline, Zoe knows. But uh, super cool guys, right? So I got to show them some cool tricks on the Facebook marketing, which was dope. Because JJ is the one that taught me all the tricks early on, and I just kind of started tweaking in it and play with it, playing with it from there. But uh, yeah, does that answer your question, Wendy? Awesome! Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Who else, guys? Anyone else? Who do we got? Hard G Graphics Interchange Format. LOL. Is that what it is? Yes. No if, way. <laughs> I got it off of Google, not Jugle. Yeah. Damn it. All right. That's it. We're shutting the show down early. No. I'm still calling it a GIF. 
<laughs> just to piss everyone off. <laughs> okay, GIF. GIF. Damn it, Andrew. You had to be all analytical on me. That's awesome, though. Thanks for sharing that, actually, because now I, I don't have to ponder it anymore. You know, this day and age, we're, there's nothing left to ponder, guys. Um, my wife is the the fast, the first one to hit that boom, boom, Google, Google, Google. I'm like, wait, can I just ponder this for like five seconds? Like, what happened? Like, we don't get to ponder things anymore. You know, you ever thought about that? How, how, who in here gets time to themselves, gets at least 20, 30, maybe an hour a day? to themselves without any social media around anybody. Does anyone do that? Recharge, reboot? I think it's super important to do that. I haven't done it. <laughs> I do it as much as I can, but it's definitely not something I don't think we we put enough focus and attention on. It's that little I, reboot, right? I the try pondering. to do that uh, every morning when I wake up. Do you? I try to, but don't get it done every morning, but. It's good, man. You get you need you need time to just think think about things like um, if you look into a lot of successful people um, in the world um, like you know especially the Miracle Morning guys what's his name um, Hal Elrod Brandon Turner those guys they do a med they meditate they get like at least twenty minutes a day to themselves off of social media off their phone away from the TV away from the spouses away from the kids. Right. And they just get even if you can get one or two hours a week to do that, I think it's huge for your mental health, man. Like you get to clear your mind and that's where you start getting ideas and you start having, you know, you start thinking about things and problem solving. Right. Because we're so busy, constantly, always on social media, always doing something. Do, 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 do. You don't get time to ponder and think about solutions and, and you know, think your way out of uh, out of problems. So. I think that's have why. You, uh, have you heard of uh, what Thomas what? Edison used to do? Thomas Edison. What? So he he used to like hold like a rock or something heavy in his hand, and he like sat down and tried to get in the state where it was just just at the point of falling asleep. And then the mm -hmm. rock would fall out of his hand, and it would wake nice. him and kind of snap him out of it. He 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 said he could think the best when he was in that state just before he. Oh. So, dude yeah. i thought it was that's interesting. good i love that kyle thanks for that tip man i was gonna say i think that's why so many of these prolific people have uh such um focus on exercise in the morning is because that's when they can ponder and listen to podcasts and really work on their um their mental game right yeah yeah Absolutely. That's what I do. I listen to podcasts in the morning when I work out. What's up, guys? Anyone, anything else? Justin, thank you for that, sir. Highly recommend. We got a book reference. Andrew, you're, you're not sorry, man. Don't lie. No. Uh, I highly recommend the book Get Your Life Back by John Eldridge. John Eldridge is great. Uh, I've read two of his books. What was the one? Um, dang. Come on, uh, 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 man, I got this book right here somewhere. Walk, waking the Dead. That was a really good one, too, Waking the Dead. Juan, yeah, just... you got professional, bro. Woohoo! Orale, homie. I'm officially Juan. professional. Juan's, Juan's been taking action this whole this whole time. He changed his his uh, his his profile picture. He changed his pro. Yeah, professional mode. Man. My guy. Just Justin's Facebook stalking me, bro. <laughs> Juan Solo at it again, my friend. Dude, hey, take an action, baby. Take an action. Oh, sorry, Jacob Ortega. Coming in an hour late. It's okay, man. Hey, people can mix up on the time. I cannot. Doesn't matter how big and bold I put central. I that we dude, we always like always there's people that come on. And I, I think maybe because I post in different areas and I don't always remember, but the main post from now on, I'm going to just put bold black central. But anyway, what does Pace always say? He always picks on the late people. <laughs> Tell me you're late without telling me you came in an hour late. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Any guys, guys, did you get some value out of this? Uh, you know, I know we horsed around a little bit, but. We, most of the meat and potatoes was early on, like the first half hour, I think. But uh, 
I thought it was something that I really wanted to share. It's been helping me a lot. You know, hopefully you guys took some notes and and get to kind of start putting these things into practice. Um, it's most of it's really simple. Feel free to reach out to me. Find me on Facebook if you're not following our uh, Creative Collective. Do that. Definitely check out our Creative Collective YouTube channel too, guys. Uh, Damon's been posting our content to that. Um, and we're going to just keep building and growing. We're almost to a thousand members on our Facebook page. So that's super awesome. Share the page, guys. If you guys are getting a uh, good value out of our page and our content, yeah, please share and let people know about us. I appreciate you guys. Anything else? Anyone have any other questions before we bounce out? Yeah, you're welcome, John. Good stuff, brother. Awesome. Appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate all you guys. Love you. Uh, we'll be on soon. We'll see you next week. All right. Good night, everyone. All right. Bye, guys. See you, everybody.